In 2017, Drew Passmore was in an automobile accident that ended up taking his life. Those close to him started a nonprofit organization in his name to keep his memory alive. The Drew Passmore Battle One Foundation has raised money in Drew's name to support area high school students with resources needed for education, athletics, and service opportunities. Coming up is the sixth annual Drew Passmore Battle One Golf Tournament. And with us this morning to tell us more, has all the details, is Drew's father, Andy Passmore. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Thank you, Thank you for having me. Thank Appreciate you. Thank you. For coming. Um, first of all, before we get into the organization and, of course, the sixth annual golf tournament, tell us about Drew and the kind of person he was. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Drew was full of life. Um, he loved people. Uh, he loves. He loved the family, and he loved his Lord. Um, yesterday is the seventh anniversary of his accident. So it's always a tough time of year, but um, Drew just, he was the life of the party. Uh, if you didn't know who Drew was when you walked into the room, by the time that you left the room, you would know who he was. Um, a lot of fun, you know, very, uh, very excited. Um, school spirit award type thing, you know, that kind of a guy. Um, and really a, just a loving, loving kid. And he uh, wanted to be a missionary. So. Mm, and we're so sorry about your loss. And the, the Drew Bess, uh, Passmore found, uh, Better One Foundation was created in honor of uh, Drew. So what is the mission of the organization? So we, we exist to provide resources uh, for local area high school students, just like you said in the mission statement. Uh, Drew, Drew was involved in a lot of things, sports, uh, social, uh, a lot of different things. And sometimes, um, there are families um, that need help with some of the, the finances when it comes to youth camps, mission trips, sports camps, uh, and those type things. And that's why we exist, is to help those local uh, high school students with those resources. And those are great resources that yeah. you are doing. Um, what's the selection process when it comes to scholarships and awards being given out through the foundation? Sure, we've actually partnered with uh, the Community Foundation. Uh, and any time that somebody um, is interested in applying for an award, uh, they can actually go through the application process. It's available on the Community Foundation's website. Um, they prepare us a package and then we as a board uh, look over um, the application itself and determine uh, if we need to award it. But I'll tell you, um, we, we have awarded just about every request that has ever been requested. I'm not saying that that will continue that way, but we, we're trying to get more visibility from the foundation side of things to let people know that we are there and we are available for local high school students because I don't, I don't think that there's a lot of people that realize it. And obviously as time goes by, less and less people probably know about it. Yeah, yeah. And um, now let's talk about the sixth annual Drew Passmore Battle One Golf Tournament. So it's coming up April 22nd. So what can people expect? Sure. So well, the first thing is I want to make sure I, I highlight the sponsors that have always been there uh, from a community standpoint. Uh, Kings Creek, who's always been our title sponsor, um, good friends of the family, have always supported the foundation and the tournament itself. Uh, the tournament has always been very successful. We've always filled up. Uh, we've always had uh, plenty of sponsors uh, and we've always had a we've always had a great time. Uh, we raise money to obviously to put into the fund to help those local high school students. But it's a scramble. It's a you know a typical scramble being held at Westlake. Um, through the years, we've always had it the Monday right after the Masters. Mm -hmm. um, but this year, we're actually having it the Monday after the Monday. That way, we have some people who've been wanting to play throughout the years that couldn't play because it was the day after Masters. Right. Uh, so we look for some more uh, participation in it that way. And currently, for people at home interested in taking part in the golf tournament, you're still looking for teams right now. Yeah, we still have about five slots for teams. Okay. Uh, we, love, we love filling it up. We don't fill it up to the point where it's not a fun day on the golf, golf course because I've played in tournaments where it's, where it's not. Uh, we limit the amount of teams that we do have. Okay. And this yeah. is going on the sixth year again. If you're interested, this is April 22nd at the West Lake Country Club. So if you're interested, be sure to sign up. We do have their information right there. You can head to their Facebook page, and that's where you can get more information on this. Absolutely. But Andy, thank you so much again. We're both so sorry for your loss, but we appreciate you coming on the show, talking about Drew, and also just forming this organization that's helping so many people in the area. And I want to personally thank Channel 12 for always being there from a community standpoint for us. And we'll always be there yeah. for you, for yes. sure. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.